So mm -hmm. let's see what these two teams have done for their lineup. As we head to CZA, Zaf, talk to me about the star lineup. Star Brasil. All right, Star Brasil, uh, another team that has really grown over time. Uh, some very, very familiar players. We've covered these guys for years now, which is awesome. Yes, indeed. Star Brazil is bringing two battleships. Uh, well, we saw the Ohio already. We have not seen a Yamato yet today. And we have ourselves a Minotaur. Not a Manatar, but a Minotaur. Smoke Minotaur. Uh, really? Yeah, really. A Venezia. A Wooster. Three Shimakazes. Three Shimakazes, Three. What is Three happening? Three Shimakazes. Three. And then we've got a Gearing to round it out. Not one, not two, not three. Well, no, that's actually but three. But four destroyers. Right. Actually, technically, but they four, have five. Four destroyers. Yeah. yeah, technically, technically, they do have five destroyers. There that's are kind of like four lights. <laughs> that's right. All right, opposing them from the southeastern spawn, we have our friends at ANCMD. They are bringing double Kerfurst, Zaf, oh, Des Moines, man. Venezia, double Napoli, and Moskva, and two Shimakazis of their own, Zaf. There are five Shimakazes in this match. I mean, let's play Spot the Torpedo. <laughs> can, can you say, I oh, really hope everybody brought their Hydro? What the hell? <laughs> Goodness gracious, what are we looking at? Right? Seriously. This is nuts. Imagine, how would you like to be uh, Lodoran and saying, damn, why didn't I bring Radar? <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I tell you, Lord Lauren there, that Minotaur, a radar minnow, not only... That, honestly, I find that a curious choice that the man has brought smoke. Mm. He's got four destroyers on his team. He's mm -hmm. going to have plenty of opportunity for smoke. Right. As long as he, you know, hangs near the right buddy. Um, and, and yet, the Shimakaze has a low enough detection that he might be able to get some good spotting out of it. I don't know, man. We just don't see a lot of smoke minnow in this format. No. Uh, ANCMD, by the way, stands for Allied Naval Command. They okay, have, there they we have go. I like it. Eight members on their team. They average just under 4,000 battles total. Um, versus Treta, which we said before. Or not Treta. Sorry. I'm looking at the wrong team. Give me a moment. <laughs> Pull up Star Brazil. Star Brazil, again, Brazilian Portuguese. There's a theme where I'm detecting Oof. today. And they've got 14 members. And they are averaging just over 10,000 battles. What did you oof over? Oh, it was Moines? a good hit there onto the, uh, this Des Moines. Yeah, in the middle of the board, he got, uh, I think that's Rokes Yamato, got a little bit of early damage. And in fact, there's another salvo coming in right now as he's maneuvering on the south side of the B cap. This could be good if these shells are, these shells are led correctly. Oh! oh, my goodness. Another big hit, 20K. Camouflage man surrounding yeah. over half his HP to take up this position Whew, on from, the bottom edge of the B cap. From 18 kilometers, real quick yeah. hit that hit that well with that Yamato. That's the thing about the Yamato. Really, it is a sniper. Really, really pretty shot there as both Kerfers now tag teaming the opposing star battleship, the other star battleship that is Lores, as now yet another Yamato salvo still coming in for camouflage, oh! wiping him off the board from downtown. 20, what is that, 19 kilometers? Just yeah. under 18. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, you, that is that is why you take Yamato, ladies and gentlemen. That is why teams have brought it for years and why they continue to do so. Right, absolutely. That was a brilliant, brilliant play. Uh, unfortunately, that uh, Shimakaze Meathead Smoke came out just a little too late. <laughs> but look at City Boy's curve first. What's he doing? So that's what I'm saying. They're, they, he's pushing up very aggressively here um, as the other curve first. That's Grumman. Grumman uh, is no, those torpedoes died out. I was like, looking like that might actually not be a good thing. Yeah, Mr. Wildcat is uh, wait, he's, he's just letting his curve first buddy take some hits for him, I guess. Yeah, I, it's the Shimakaze up north. Uh, who is this? That's Nascimento. He's very obviously running 20 kilometer torpedoes mm. um, based on where these tor how far these torpedoes are traveling yes. from where they're launching. He's got 20s. Uh, uh, Belderin's got 12s. Not sure about uh, Diogo. Okay, not sure about Diogo. Um, Rodriguez there just putting up radar there to pick up Nascimento as Milimuertos has doubled back. So now Nascimento in a bit of a gunfight here. I'm kind of expecting him to smoke. There it is. 
Mm -hmm. That'll at least keep uh, Mil Muertos off of his back for a little while, at least once the radar expires. Right, and we got uh, just two seconds left for that radar. Oh, no. Mil Muertos is driving right up next to Benevolence Wooster. He's still out of the radar range, but goodness gracious, he's getting close. He's got to be careful there. Yeah, radar range is 9.5? No, 9 flat on a Wooster. 9 flat, yeah, okay. So he's got a little bit oh. of wiggle room. Star's battleship is continuing to do brilliant work here as Rodriguez takes some salvos. And the Shimakaze torpedoes wiping out the curve first in between A and B, Zaph. Mm. And Grumman's going to take two more of the one more of those. What a salvo. Meathead Shimakaze getting pounded now by Lord Lawrence Minotaur. Meathead is going to go down momentarily. There, there it is. There he goes. Just like that, it's a three-ship lead for Star. A and C and D, that, that kind of early misplay from the Des Moines felt like something that maybe they could recover from. But now down a battleship and now down two destroyers, Zap. Yeah, that's right. I don't I don't see it now. This is just it's we're not even six minutes into this game and it feels like a bloodbath. Oh, absolutely, yes. Uh, Star Brazil knew exactly what they were going to do with their destroyers. Now, one of the things that I like here, right, once they realized that C was wide open, mm -hmm. these guys at C, the Yamato, the Wooster, the two destroyers, they never took their feet off the gas. Mm -hmm. And and it, with Crash Zone Alpha, that's a really, really, really good play. That's right. But it allows you to begin envelopment of the B cap and even if you don't pick up the cap, you're able to 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 really put a lot of fire downrange on the ships that are there. Grumman is about to encounter more 12-kilometer torpedoes, Zaf. I'm looking at Rodriguez. He's turning, he's he's turning right into them to get his stern turrets on Flores' Ohio, and it's going to oh. cost him his ship. There he goes. Good catch there. Rodriguez, I think, is going to take a torp. No? He had his hydro going. I mean, but it's he's gonna burn down. He's he's down soon he's enough, anyways. Triple fires. Oh, he he just barely dodges that he torpedo. Does does manage to fit his hull in between that narrow gap, but the Amado's got to be lying in wait for him. Oh yeah. Oh, less than five thousand HP here. Here comes the Amado salvo. Is Rope gonna back his second cruiser of the game? <laughs> he doesn't. Look at that. That Yamato belt armor, oh, sorry, the Mosfa belt, belt armor shrugging it off at the right angle. Crazy. A and CMD just getting swept off the board here. Now look at Silverstorm just coming up. He's saying, damn oh, the torpedoes, yeah. full speed ahead. That's right. Well, the Wooster doesn't have torpedoes. The Yamato doesn't have torpedoes, Ooh. but guess who does? The Napoli right. has torpedoes. Yep, although I am curious about this turnout, but all right. Well, I think he's... Oh, there we go. He's going to get the Wooster. Boink. And he's going to pay for and it with his life he gonna, right here. Is he going to pay for it? Like, he's gonna, if he's got his AP in the barrel... No, look at that! Oh! Look at that. He cheeked. cheeked the Yamato. Cheeking the Yamato. Big Citadel's there on Roke's Yamato. And <laughs> the Yamato fires back and says, I got big guns too, buddy. Taps him right on the shoulder. <laughs> and the gearing the gearing saves Rope from a follow-up salvo that might might potentially have taken him off the board. That was the really, really bulls and, and solid Napoli play there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't like the turnout that he did, though. But other than that, you know, I appreciate the, the attempt, right? Oh. As, as opposed to just saying, well, let's just end this. He went out swinging, and I love that. Bell Bell Doran's 12 kilometer Shimakaze torps have done just the Lord's work down here at A, Zaf. Yeah. He killed both battle. Look at the Shimakazes on Star, Zaf. They have mm -hmm. five kills. Five kills. Nito Klaas now coming in. He's going to get a broadside here on Noble Birdmouth. Never mind. <laughs> I'll take a torpedo Never instead. Mind. And that will happen. do it. Wow, so, what a bloodbath. Uh, uh, bloodbath of a game star only losing the one ship to a very very solid very bold napoli push that was fun to watch but they're going to claim their second game of the day here on crash zone alpha as uh, we are going to have to go dig around for a uh, next game that's right that's right and i just got pinged our, our planned game has already dropped so uh, i apologize for I the quiet earlier 
But... It's okay. That was no cap and torch. Yeah, we we missed them by now, so we'll have to pick something else up. Yep, I'm asking Pelion right now for a recommendation. Yep. Um, and yeah, that's uh, we'll, we'll see what we can find, folks. All right, let's have a look here. Uh, we're looking for a 315 start. Mm hmm. Uh, a d -d 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 or a 320 start would be acceptable. We could de. Uh, nope, Salsa forfeited all their games. That's a forfeit. Oh, no. Yeah, uh, we could go down to group eight, but those are all covered. Um, honestly, our best bet might be to stay here. Let me scroll up over here. What are we going to do? 315 drop or a 320 drop. Mm. Uh, we could go to group one or group two is probably our best bet. Group one or two. Um, let's look for... Okay, let's look. I've got an idea. I'm going to go look.